Welcome to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame Banquet. Our first inductee this evening is Katie Bird, a name that carries a legacy of speed, skill, and leadership. Her nickname, Toes, not only stemmed from her maiden name, Maranto, but also reflected how her quickness kept opponents on their toes, always a step ahead on the field. Katie's journey began at North Tonawanda High School, where she made history as the first seventh grader to join the varsity softball team. Her impact was immediate and lasting, leading her team to three Niagara Frontier League championships in 1998, 99, and 2004. As a shortstop and second baseman, Katie's defensive skills were only matched by her ability at the plate. With a career batting average of .385, five home runs, and 110 RBIs, she was a force to be reckoned with. Her achievements earned her numerous accolades including first team All Niagara Frontier from 2002 to 2004 and the prestigious title of All Western New York Player of the Year in 2004. Katie continued her softball career at Canisius College, where she left an indelible mark. She graduated as the program's all-time leader in hits, runs scored, and total bases, earning her spot as one of the greatest to ever wear the Griffins uniform. A three-time All-Mac First Team honoree, she was named the 2008 Mac Co-Player of the Year, leading her team to a school record 39 wins and securing the Mac Softball Championship. Katie's excellence extended beyond the diamond. She was the 2008 Canisius Female Athlete of the Year and the Mac Female Student Athlete of the Year, a testament to her prowess in both athletics and academics. She earned Academic All-America honors and was a three-time Mac All-Academic Team selection. Her legacy has been immortalized with inductions into the Canisius College Sports Hall of Fame, the North Tonawanda High School Wall of Fame, and the New York State Softball Hall of Fame. But Katie's story doesn't end there. Her impact on the field has paved the way for future generations. Whether it's on the diamond or in the classroom, Katie Bird's dedication, skill, and leadership have set the standard for excellence. Let's welcome Katie Bird, the fleet-footed champion and leader to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Kip Evancho, a man whose love for fast-pitch softball has spanned nearly five decades. From the late 1970s, Kip embarked on his journey in the sport after being inspired by the legendary Eddie Fainer at Lackawanna Stadium. Like many of his peers, Kip began playing in the Lackawanna Teen League and quickly established himself as a force to be reckoned with. Kip's talents shone brightly as he worked his way through the various Lackawanna leagues representing teams such as Kuwix, Center Cafe, and Frank's Tavern. His ability to switch hit and dominate as both a pitcher and first baseman made him an invaluable asset on the field. Kip's name became synonymous with championship teams, including the famed Fielder's Choice of the Mid-80s, Houlihan's Classics in 1988, and Rudy John's in 1992. His leadership helped guide LA Lounge and the Lackawanna Jacks to victory in both the Lackawanna and Dunkirk leagues. Even as Kip approached retirement from the New York State Department of Transportation after 35 years, his passion for the game never waned. He continued to compete in the Skip Roloff 50 and Over League in Cheektowaga, where he also stepped up as interim league director. With Vinny's Over 50 team, Kip once again found himself at the center of championship celebrations, proving that age is no barrier to greatness. Today, Kip continues to play for the Lackawanna Fast Pitch team, carrying on the city's proud fast pitch tradition in both the 50 and Over League and the Dunkirk League. His journey through fast-pitch softball is not just a story of athletic excellence but one of enduring friendships, cherished memories, and a deep love for the game. Kip would like to extend his heartfelt thanks to all the teammates, catchers, and friends he's made over the years. He expresses special gratitude to his late mother Joan, his father Mickey, his children Michael, Patrick, and Brittany, and his beloved grandchildren Mackenzie and Layla who continue to be his biggest fans still coming to games to cheer him on. 
Please welcome Kip Ivancho, the enduring spirit of Western New York softball, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Joel Grundy, a name that has become legendary in the world of fast-pitch softball. In 1957, at just 14 years old, Joel happened upon Fritz Ehlers pitching an 18-inning game, sparking a passion that would define his life. He immediately took up practicing to find out if he could do it. Only two days after witnessing that performance, Joel pitched his first game, one that lasted 15 innings. Though it ended in defeat, it marked the beginning of a remarkable journey in fast-pitch softball, and he went on to win the Lockport 17U Recreation League for the next three straight seasons. By age 18, Joel had joined Wagner's Tavern in the Lockport Softball Association, where he quickly made his mark. With a combination of skill and determination, Joel led his team to six consecutive league titles, including five playoff championships. During this time he achieved career-defining victories including a one-hit 2-0 win against the reigning state champions, Simon Pure, and a triumph over the Canadian national champions, McCrae's. Seeking new challenges, Joel joined Brower's Tavern in the Pepsi Classic League, where his career soared to new heights. His pitching led the team to 12 consecutive pennants and 10 playoff championships in one of the most competitive leagues in the region. One of Joel's most cherished memories was defeating the legendary King in his court, alongside his brother Jim, whom he had mentored into an outstanding pitcher. Joel's contributions to fast-pitch softball extend far beyond his playing days. For nearly 60 years he has dedicated himself to teaching and coaching, founding his training program, Whipper Snappers. His influence has reached far and wide, with students receiving scholarships, achieving All-American honors, European championships, and membership in the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. At 81 years old, Joel remains active as a coach and mentor, currently helping the Newfane Varsity softball team. His love for the game, matched only by his love for teaching, continues to inspire new generations of players. Joel expresses deep gratitude to his wife Nancy, his children Trey and Glenn, his grandsons Liam and Xander, and to all those who have supported him throughout his extraordinary journey. Today we honor a man whose impact on fast-pitch softball is immeasurable. Please welcome Joel Grundy, the heart and soul of Western New York fast-pitch softball, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Patrick Curl, known to friends and teammates simply as Pat. Pat's journey in the world of sports began on the baseball fields of Lancaster D. Pew Little League, where his talent quickly set him apart. By the time he reached high school, Pat was a standout pitcher and first baseman, leading his teams to numerous victories including a Section 6 championship. His prowess on the mound earned him all Western New York honors, and even an invitation to a Pittsburgh Pirates tryout. However, after a shoulder injury ended his baseball career, Pat didn't let that stop his love for the game. He turned to slow-pitch softball where he found a new arena to showcase his skills. Starting with Dave's Como Lounge, Pat quickly became a dominant force in local town leagues. His teams won numerous championships across Alden, Akron, Cheektowaga, and Lancaster, playing as many as five nights a week. With his trademark left-handed swing, Pat was a player who could change the course of a game with one swing of the bat. Pat's competitive spirit led him to form the tournament team Good Times, where he and his friends took on some of the best teams around winning over 40 tournaments. But it was with Plant 6 that Pat truly left his mark on the sport. Over 13 years, Pat helped lead the team to 130 tournament victories, both locally and across the country. Competing in national championships in Florida and Georgia, Pat and his team consistently proved they were among the best, placing as high as 6th out of 140 teams. Pat's stories are full of unforgettable moments but one in particular defies belief. At Houghton Park, Pat called his shot to a teammate that he was aiming for a second-story window where a worker was busy installing new glass. It seemed outrageous, almost ridiculous, until, in a jaw-dropping twist, he nailed it exactly as promised. But Pat's career wasn't just about funny moments, it was filled with triumphs. One of his proudest achievements was winning the Alden Whistle Stop Tournament, where he not only helped his team to victory, but also earned the tournament MVP title. Through it all, Pat's greatest supporters have been his family. His wife of 24 years, Patty, and his sons Ryan and Tyler, who shared in his softball journey. Today, he is also a proud grandfather to Elena and Jax. Pat credits his family and the countless teammates who have become lifelong friends for making his softball career so memorable. 
For Pat, the bonds formed on the field have truly been like a second family, filled with memories that will last a lifetime. Please welcome Patrick Curl, the heart of the game and a beloved teammate, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Mike Kolb, affectionately known as Colby. His journey in the world of softball began after years of playing baseball in the Buffalo Muni League. In 1972, Mike turned his attention to softball, starting in the Bailey Bar League, where he discovered a passion that would carry him through an extraordinary 36-year career. In 1977, Colby took an exciting leap into fast-pitch softball, joining Coldway Food Express. It was here that he truly cemented his legacy. Under his incredible play at shortstop, Coldway triumphed in the Amherst League countless times. Meanwhile, with Mr. D's in the Cheektowaga League, Mike led his team to several league and playoff victories. Colby's talent wasn't confined to league play, his leadership helped Coldway win the prestigious Dunkirk Major Tournament three times, as well as the Eden Corn Festival. In 1982, after clinching the Buffalo Metro Championship, they soared to the ASA Mid-Atlantic Championship, earning a coveted spot at the ASA National Championship in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In 1988, Coldway transformed into Yetman's Trucking, but Colby's passion for excellence never wavered. Throughout his career, he had the privilege of playing for some of the best teams around, Escrow, Park Grill, Carpet Gallery, and many more. Even as he aged, Colby continued to compete, joining the Cheektowaga Over 40 League in 1994 and the Over 50 Fast Pitch League in 2000. After retiring in 2006, Mike didn't step away from the game he loved. He turned to coaching, passing on his wisdom until 2010. Off the field, Colby enjoyed a long and fulfilling career with General Motors retiring after 40 years in 2008. But perhaps his greatest joy comes from his family married to his wife, Lynn, for 52 years. Blessed with two children, Michelle and Kevin, and now enjoying life with his five grandchildren and a newfound love for golf. Please welcome Mike Kolb, the steadfast leader and beloved teammate, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Rich Landers, affectionately known as Pooh Bear to his teammates. Rich's journey began at Alden High School, where his talent on the diamond was undeniable, earning him spots on both the prestigious All-Western New York team and the Empire State Games baseball team. His talent carried over to Fredonia State, where he captained the team to their first-ever Sunyak Championship in 1990, a feat still unmatched in the school's history. Under the guidance of Hall of Fame coach Dale Till, Rich's blend of power, speed, and intelligence on the field made him an invaluable player. His signature batting stance, reminiscent of the great Ricky Henderson, often left opponents unprepared for his dynamic combination of hitting for power and playing with speed. Rich's skills translated seamlessly to softball, where he began his career with Alabama Hotel at 18 years old before moving on to dominate in leagues across Alden, Akron, Cheektowaga, and beyond. Whether playing second base, shortstop, or outfield, Rich's consistency and versatility made him a cornerstone of every team he played for. At just 22, Rich joined the legendary Plant 6 team, where he spent 13 seasons competing at the highest levels. With Plant 6, Rich achieved incredible success, winning over 75 tournament and league championships and earning All-American honors in 1996 at the World Tournament in Alabama, a career highlight. His leadership and skill helped the team achieve top rankings nationally, including a second-place finish in the 1996 World Tournament and numerous top finishes across the U.S. and Canada. In 2023, those bonds were celebrated when the Plant 6 team was inducted into the Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame as a team of distinction. Rich would like to extend his heartfelt thanks to David Bear Neiman for giving him the opportunity to play with Plant 6, and to all his teammates over the years for the memories and the victories. He is also deeply grateful to his family for their unwavering support throughout his career. As we celebrate Rich's outstanding achievements, we honor not just a remarkable athlete, 
but a cherished teammate and friend. Please welcome Rich Pooh Bear Landers, a powerhouse on the field and a true champion at heart, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Caitlin Lever Jones, our next inductee, is a true embodiment of softball excellence, known for her exceptional play on the field. Caitlin's journey began at Williamsville South High School, where she quickly emerged as a standout player. Her talent caught the attention of the Amherst Lightning Travel Program, where she honed the skills that would soon make her one of the most decorated players in collegiate and international softball. Caitlin's collegiate career started at Canisius College, where she led the Griffins to a conference championship in 2004. But it was her transfer to Georgia Tech that solidified her place among softball's elite. As a Yellow Jacket, Caitlin earned first-team NFCA All-America honors in 2007 and was a three-time All-ACC team selection. Her impact at Georgia Tech was profound, setting records for most hits in a season, highest on-base percentage and single-game hits, records that still stand today. After her collegiate success, Lever's career continued on the international stage where she represented Team Canada at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, helping the team to a strong fourth-place finish. Her professional career in the National Pro Fast Pitch League saw her playing for the Chicago Bandits and Carolina Diamonds, where she continued to showcase her exceptional skills as both a hitter and outfielder. Lever's love for the game naturally transitioned into a successful coaching career. She began as a volunteer assistant at Georgia Tech before moving on to Niagara University, where she helped lead the team to the MAC tournament in consecutive years. Then in 2013 she moved on to UNLV where she coached outfielders and assisted with hitting and the short game. Beyond the diamond, Caitlin's story is enriched by her personal background. As the daughter of former NHL player and coach Don Lever, Caitlin was initially an accomplished ice hockey player, winning two national under-19 championships with the Syracuse Stars and played for the Western Empire State Team. But it was on the advice of her high school coaches that she made the switch to softball, a decision that led her to greatness. Growing up in Vancouver, Caitlin was surrounded by a sporting legacy that has clearly influenced her own path to success. From her days as a high school standout to her international achievements and coaching career, Lever's impact on the game will be remembered for years to come. Please welcome Caitlin Lever-Jones, a trailblazer in every sense of the word, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Greg Merkel, also known as Merck, a true legend in Western New York softball, both as a player and as an umpire. Greg's journey in the world of softball spans an incredible 41 years as a player and 43 years as an umpire, making him a cornerstone of the softball community. A left-handed pitcher known for his command on the mound, Greg played for some of the best teams in the region, contributing to countless championship victories over his long and storied career. Greg's slow pitch career has been nothing short of extraordinary. Playing for teams like Victoria Lanes, Kettles, and Sparkle Cleaners, Greg helped lead his teams to an astounding 20-plus championships, including titles in 1986, 1990, 91, 92, and many more in the years that followed. But Merck's contributions to the game didn't stop with playing. In 1981, following in his father Dave's footsteps, Merck began his umpiring career with the Buffalo Umpires Association. Starting at the Nike base in Hamburg, he quickly rose through the ranks, umpiring in major events like the Stroh's Labor Day Tournament and the Larry Barreca Memorial Tournament. Greg and his father even had the special opportunity to umpire college softball games together for ECC and Hilbert College, a tradition that continued until Dave's retirement. Over the course of his 43-year umpiring career, Greg became a fixture at nearly every major tournament across Western New York, from Niagara Falls to Arcade. His dedication to the sport earned him numerous accolades, including the Gold Level of Excellence Certificate from ASA in 2002 and his induction into the town of Aurora Softball Hall of Fame in 2011. Greg's ability to maintain fairness and uphold the integrity of the game made him one of the most respected umpires in the region. Softball has always been a family affair for Greg. His late father, Dave, was instrumental in getting him started with the Buffalo Umpires Association, 
and together they shared many unforgettable moments on the field. Greg's passion for the game, whether pitching or umpiring, is deeply rooted in those early experiences with his father, and his love for the sport continues to this day. With over four decades of playing and umpiring, Greg Merkel's impact on the sport of softball in Western New York is immeasurable. His contributions, both as a standout player and a respected umpire, have left an indelible mark on the game. Today, we honor not just his achievements, but the legacy he has built through his love for softball and his dedication to its players. Please welcome Greg Merkel, a true icon of Western New York softball, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Jack Migliori. Known for his aggressive, sometimes reckless style of play, Jack was one of the best defensive outfielders to ever come out of Lackawanna. Jack's softball journey began in 1983 with the Nads in the Lackawanna C League, before quickly moving up to play with the AGs in the B League and Bokens in the highly competitive Lackawanna A League. From 1986 to 94, Jack anchored Bokens outfield, where his fearless approach to the game and his quick reflexes in center field made him a standout. Jack's bat at the top of the order added another layer of threat to already loaded lineups. Jack was also a pivotal member of tournament teams like Big John's, Bocans, and Labatt Blue. Over his career, Jack helped secure over 20 tournament championships in prestigious events like Elkland, Cape Vincent, and Jersey Shore. Nationally, he and his teams earned fifth place in Hutchinson, Kansas, second place in Fargo, North Dakota, and ninth place with Labatt Blue in Minot, North Dakota. One of the most iconic moments of Jack's career came when he caught the final out of softball legend Ty Stofflet's last perfect game during a tournament in Elkland, Pennsylvania. Playing alongside Hall of Famer Kevin Prisbel for over 15 years, Jack benefited from being in a lineup with the legendary slugger on deck, but Jack's own ability to make clutch plays and contribute on both sides of the ball made him a key figure on every team he played for. In 1993, Jack was named to the NSA's first team All-World, followed by another first team All-World selection in 97 by the North American Fast Pitch Association. His leadership on the field helped guide his teams to multiple league championships, including victories in the Lackawanna A-League, the Brockville Ontario Can-Am League, and the Olean Fast Pitch League. Off the field, Jack's greatest source of pride is his family. For 31 years his wife Maureen and their children Brian, Brett, Jack and Shannon have supported him through every game, championship, and coaching milestone. Jack's passion for sports extended to coaching where he earned Section 5 Baseball Coach of the Year honors while at Whitesville High School. Jack Migliori's career is a testament to his dedication, passion, and love for the game of softball. Today we honor not just his incredible achievements on the field, but the legacy he has created through his commitment to the game and to those he's played with and coached. Please welcome Jack Migliori, a true champion of the game, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Mark O.J. Piatkowski, known for his versatility on the field, played every position, from pitcher to all infield and outfield spots, making him one of the most reliable and adaptable players of his generation. With a career that spans an impressive 46 years in fast pitch and 40 years in slow pitch, Mark's contributions to the sport are nothing short of legendary. Mark's journey began in 1979 when he started playing with Clark Grill and Dirty Dans where he quickly made his mark by helping his team secure 10 consecutive league division titles in the Buffalo Softball League. In the early 80s, Mark transitioned to fast pitch softball playing for Jerry's Club 29 at the old Delaware Park on Fillmore Avenue and later for teams like Libation Station, Center House, and Zajax Bar & Grill in the Amherst Fast Pitch League. Simultaneously, Mark continued to dominate in slow pitch leagues playing for Ozones, Yesterdays and Mickey Rats in the Schiller Park Slow Pitch League. His ability to excel in both formats of the game demonstrated not only his skill, but also his deep love for softball. Whether on the mound, in the infield, or covering the outfield, Mark's presence was always felt. In the early 90s, Mark's fast-pitch career reached new heights as he played and coached with teams like Zephyrs, which went on to win the Buffalo Fast Pitch League, and then Tucson's, where he guided the team to two B-Division championships in the Lackawanna Fast Pitch League. He continued to play in the 40 and over figure-eight league in Cheektowaga with Wechex and Nickel Creek Grill, 
and in the 50 and over fast pitch league for Nowak's Tavern and Trios. Off the field, Mark's life is filled with the love and support of his family. His wife Sharon, with whom he has shared 39 wonderful years, and his siblings Marlene, Michael and Matthew, have always been by his side, cheering him on. Mark has recently retired after 32 years of dedicated service at Derrick Manufacturing. OJ's career is a testament to his unwavering dedication, incredible talent, and passion for the sport of softball. Today we celebrate not just his achievements on the field, but the lasting legacy he has created through his love for the game. Please welcome Mark OJ Piatkowski, a true champion of Western New York softball, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Chuck Rigetti a man whose influence has shaped the lives of countless young women and transformed the very landscape of Western New York softball. In 2010, Chuck founded Team Mizuno Fast Pitch, starting with just one team and a simple mission to help young women achieve their dreams of playing college softball. What began as a modest endeavor has grown into a powerhouse organization, now known as New York Inferno, with multiple teams competing at every level. Under Chuck's leadership, Team Mizuno and New York Inferno have achieved remarkable success on the national stage. In 2012, the 16 and under team captured the ASAA National Championship in Marion, Ohio, and also won the all-sanctioned World Series Platinum Division in Columbus, Ohio, triumphing over more than 100 teams. That team coached by Chuck played in 12 total tournaments that year and won every one of them. These victories were just the beginning. From 2014 to 2019, Chuck's teams dominated the Pony East Zone Nationals, winning four championships, including an unprecedented three-peat from 2017 to 2019. In 2023, the Inferno added another prestigious title by winning the 16 U Aunt Rosie's Invitational. Much of this was made possible by Coach Rigetti's experience as a prominent baseball coach in Western New York for 38 years. Further, without Chuck's experience as a contractor and a carpenter, the magnificent transformation at Garnet Park would be impossible. Once an abandoned eyesore, the park is now a vibrant community resource, thanks to Chuck's leadership and the efforts of the New York Inferno program. The park has not only become a premier softball venue, but also a place where all children, including those with disabilities, can enjoy the game. Over 13 years, Coach Rigetti has guided his teams to over 700 victories and countless local and regional championships. But his greatest pride lies in the more than 120 young women who have gone on to play college softball at every level, Division I, Division II, Division III, and junior college, thanks to his coaching and connections. Chuck's passion for the game is matched only by his love for his family. As a father and now a grandfather, his commitment to nurturing and guiding the next generation extends far beyond the diamond. Chuck Rigetti's legacy in Western New York softball is one of unparalleled dedication, transformative impact, and a deep love for the game and its players. His influence will be felt for generations to come. Chuck, you have truly earned this honor. Welcome to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Louis Lou Segovia, a name synonymous with dedication and excellence both on and off the field, whose journey is a story of unwavering commitment, from serving his country to becoming a pillar in the world of softball. After honorably serving in the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Coast Guard, Lou turned his disciplined focus to the sport of softball. He showcased his skills as a middle infielder in fast pitch for five years and in slow pitch for six years, but his true impact on the game would be seen from behind the plate. For an incredible 24 years, Lou umpired fast pitch softball with an additional five years in slow pitch. His sharp eye and deep understanding of the game made him a respected figure in softball communities across the nation. Lou's umpiring career is a testament to his relentless pursuit of fairness and excellence, officiating at the highest levels, from local championships to national tournaments. Lou's umpiring career is a testament to his unwavering dedication. He officiated at five ASA national tournaments, numerous high school sectionals and championship games, as well as elite collegiate events across the nation. 
His presence was felt in top conferences, including the ACC, Ivy League, Big East, Horizon, the MAC, and the MAAC. He even took the field in the Women's Pro League and various regional and league playoffs, as well as national elite tournaments and championships. Wherever the stakes were highest, Lou was there, ensuring the game was played with integrity. Lou now reflects on a life rich in service and passion. Alongside his wife Catherine, Lou cherishes the memories of a career that has brought him honor and fulfillment, both in uniform and on the softball field. Lou Segovia's legacy in softball is one of integrity, dedication, and unwavering commitment to the game. As we honor him today, we celebrate not just his remarkable achievements, but the enduring impact he has made on the sport he loves. Lou, your impact on the field will be felt for generations. Thank you for your service, your dedication, and your love for the game, and welcome to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Lynn Staczynski, a name recognized for her outstanding achievements both on the softball field and in her career. Beyond her skills, Lynn is known for her unmistakable infectious laugh that could lift the spirits of her teammates and bring joy to even the most intense moments on the field. Lynn's journey began in Depew, New York, where she quickly established herself as a force to be reckoned with on the field. By the time she graduated from Depew High School in 1997, she had already earned the title of First Team All-Western New York, a sign of the greatness yet to come. Lynn's passion for the game took her to Canisius College where she became a four-year starter for the Golden Griffins. Lynn's tenure at Canisius was nothing short of legendary. Starting in all 184 career games, she solidified her place as a cornerstone of the team. Her 317 career batting average and a record 449 assists, still unbroken after two decades, speak volumes about her consistency and precision on the field. Lynn's senior year was the pinnacle of her college career. She hit an incredible 392 with a 523 slugging percentage, leading her team to the 2000 MAC crown. Lynn's performance was not just limited to her athletic prowess. She was a two-time Casita Academic All-American and graduated magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Her dedication to excellence in both academics and athletics earned her a well-deserved induction into the Canisius College Hall of Fame in 2013. After her stellar softball career, Lynn took her determination and drive to the legal field, earning her Juris Doctor from the University at Buffalo School of Law in 2012. She has since become a distinguished personal injury attorney, dedicating more than 12 years to fighting for seriously injured plaintiffs. Lynn's legal accolades include being named a rising star by upstate New York super lawyers from 2017 to 2023 and a one to watch by best lawyers in America for plaintiff's medical malpractice from 2021 to 2024. Today, Lynn continues to make an impact as a partner at Black Lyle and Haberfield LLP in Olean, New York. Her journey from the diamond to the courtroom exemplifies a life lived with purpose and passion. Please welcome Lynn Staczynski, the unyielding champion to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Richard Trudeau, known to many as Flea. Richard's softball journey began in 1973 when he moved to Angola on the lake and joined Fox's Sanitation in the Evans Recreation League. Richard's talent didn't go unnoticed, and in his second year of playing, he was recruited by Marco Ferracci, while Marco was umpiring his game, to join the Mickey Rats team in the South Towns League. Even though Marco called him out on that fateful day, Richard couldn't resist the opportunity. It turned out to be a match made in heaven, as Mickey Rats went on to win the League 7 out of the 10 years Richard played with them. Richard's remarkable speed, clocked at just 2.6 seconds from home to first base, made him one of the top leadoff hitters in Western New York, and his ability to run down fly balls in the outfield was second to none. He joined Barnaby's in the Buffalo Muni League, where he helped secure three consecutive championships in the early 1980s. He also played with Capriato Auto at the Nike base, winning a championship in their second year together. Richard's dedication to the game extended beyond league play as he competed in numerous tournaments throughout Western New York, often against some of the most talented teams in the region. Whether playing with Mickey Rats, Plant Six, or other local teams, Richard's love for the game and his friendships with teammates were always at the forefront. Off the field, Richard's life was filled with the love and support of his family. 
his wife Corinthia, children Rich, Teresa, Ebony, Jay, Robbie, and grandchildren Roman, Gianna, Izzy, Bo, and Taryn were his biggest fans. From tagging up and scoring from first base on a sacrifice fly to throwing out runners with his trademark behind-the-back throws, Richard's moments on the field are the stuff of legend. Richard was also the president of the Evans Recreation League for five years and helped shape the league into a competitive and supportive community. He fondly remembers the support from sponsors like Mickey Rats, Captain Kids, South Shore on the Lake, and others who made it all possible. Richard would also like to pay tribute to his friends and teammates who are no longer with us. Dave Satkowski, Dennis Parisi, Al Izzy, Marco Ferracci, and Skip Earnhardt, who continue to play ball in heaven. Today, we celebrate not just the athlete, but the man who has brought joy and camaraderie to so many through the game of softball. Please welcome Richard Flea Trudeau, a legend of the game and a true friend to many, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Todd Wheeler, affectionately known as Wheels by his teammates and friends. Todd's softball journey spans an impressive 38 years, during which he has become a cornerstone of the Western New York softball community. From his early days in fast pitch to his long-standing career in slow pitch, Todd's versatility on the field, whether pitching, playing left field, or holding down third base, has made him a formidable presence in every game. Todd secured numerous league championships over the years with Clino's Collision. He played for five years, helping the team win two league titles. But it was with teams like Attitudes and Rascals where Todd truly left his mark. Over a decade with Attitudes, he contributed to eight league championships, while his time with Rascals resulted in seven consecutive league titles. Todd's was also a dominant force in tournaments across the country. His time with Plant 6 saw the team finishing as runners-up in the Men's C Nationals in Alabama, where Todd earned first-team All-American honors. With Rascals, Todd's leadership led the team to a Men's D National Championship in Florida and multiple top finishes in Nationals and Worlds tournaments. He was also a four-time MVP at the Oil City Tournament in Pennsylvania, where his team won the tournament an astonishing 10 years in a row. Currently playing senior ball with Bob Johnson's smash at sports over 50s, Todd continues to excel, leading his team to victories in Syracuse and Westminster, Maryland. In 2023, they placed an impressive sixth at the Worlds in Florida, proving that Todd's competitive spirit and skill have only grown with time. Off the field, Todd's greatest joy comes from his family. His wife Dawn, his children Jordan and Matthew, and his grandchildren Olive and Andy have been his biggest supporters throughout his career. Todd also cherishes the bond he shares with his brothers Mark and Richard, and his sisters Michelle and Kathy, who have all played a significant role in his life. For Todd, the love and encouragement of his family have been as important as any championship or accolade. Todd's career is a testament to his dedication, athleticism, and love for the game of softball. Over 38 years, he has not only achieved remarkable success on the field, but has also built lasting friendships and created countless memories. As he continues to play and inspire others, we celebrate not just the athlete, but the man who has given so much to the sport and to those around him. Please welcome Todd Wheels Wheeler, a true champion of the game, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is Sally Wood, a name that stands tall in the history of women's softball. Sally's journey began at Kenmore East High School under the guidance of coach Sue Fuller, where she quickly emerged as a standout player. Her talent and dedication were clear from the start, earning her induction into the Kenmore East High School Athletic Hall of Fame in 1993 and the New York State High School Hall of Fame in 2018. But it was at Erie Community College under the mentorship of Coach Santo Desain, where Sally truly made her mark, becoming one of the greatest women's softball pitchers in the school's history. During her tenure at Erie Community College from 1979 to 1981, Sally compiled an astonishing 38-1 record, leading the Lady Cats to back-to-back -back NJC double and national softball titles. In 1980, she pitched every inning of the tournament, earning a perfect 4-0 record and taking home the MVP award. The following year, she once again pitched every inning at the Nationals, rebounding from her only career loss at ECCC to guide her team to their second consecutive national title. For her efforts, she was named the most valuable pitcher. 
Sally's dominance on the mound earned her a place in the Erie Community College Athletic Hall of Fame in 1991. Following her extraordinary success at ECC, Sally earned a full athletic scholarship to Indiana University, where she continued to shine under the guidance of Coach Gail Blevins. As a member of the Hoosiers, Sally was named to the NCAA All Mideast team and compiled an impressive 40 and 16 record over her two years. Her leadership and skill on the field were instrumental in helping her team secure the Big Ten Championship, further solidifying her legacy as one of the best pitchers of her time. After her playing days, Sally's love for the game led her back to Erie Community College, this time as a pitching coach. From 1986 to 1991, she helped guide the next generation of players, sharing her wealth of knowledge and experience. Off the field, Sally's life is centered around her family and her career. Living in Rochester, New York with her wife Caroline and their daughter Gabby, Sally has spent the past 24 years working as a recreation therapist at Strong Memorial Hospital. Her work in both child and adolescent and adult psychiatry reflects her deep commitment to helping others, a trait that has defined her both on and off the softball field. Sally has made a lasting impact on the game. Her achievements continue to inspire future generations, and her legacy will be remembered for years to come. Please welcome Sally Wood, a trailblazing athlete and dedicated coach, to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame. Our last inductee of the evening is Terry Baggs Woodfield, a legendary figure in the world of fast pitch and modified softball. Known for his exceptional skills behind the plate and at third base, Terry's career is marked by remarkable achievements and unforgettable moments. In 1973, Terry was honored as a member of the Jamestown All-Time All-Star Team, a testament to his impact on the game. Over the years, Terry played on two national championship teams with the Jock Shop 10-Man Modified Team, where he was voted to the All-Star Team in 1984. Terry delivered one of the most memorable moments of his career, a clinching two-run home run that secured a 7-3 victory in the national championship. This pivotal play not only demonstrated Terry's power at the plate, but also his ability to perform under pressure. His performance in that tournament earned him a well-deserved spot on the All-Star team, further cementing his legacy. Terry's talent was evident from the early stages of his career. In 1971, he was named MVP of the Dunkirk Fast Pitch Tournament while playing for Seizure House. That same year, he led his team to victory in the tournament, showcasing his strong arm and quick release that made him one of the toughest catchers to bunt against. Terry's ability to pick off runners from first and third base was unmatched, earning him a reputation as the quickest catcher out of the hole. With Jock Shop, he was part of a team that accomplished a rare feat winning fast pitch, slow pitch, and modified tournaments all in the same year in Jamestown. His leadership and skill were instrumental in these victories, as well as in the Six City Fast Pitch League championships he won with Caesar House. Terry's ability to excel in multiple formats of the game set him apart as one of the most accomplished players of his time. Off the field, Terry's life is filled with the love and support of his family. His wife Cindy, his son Terry Jr., his daughter Mary Jo, and his grandson, have been his biggest fans throughout his career. Terry Woodfield's career is a testament to his dedication, athleticism, and passion for the game of softball. From his powerful throws and quick reflexes to his leadership on championship teams, Terry has left a remarkable legacy in the sport. Today we celebrate not just his achievements on the field, but the impact he has had on those around him. Please welcome Terry Baggs Woodfield, a true champion and an inspiration to many to the Western New York Softball Hall of Fame.